but we hope to use it. Just words. Hey there, YouTube. Lord and Icon coming at you with a, another video. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss AMD streaming, Comcast, and Mixer. Let's just get right into it. All right, so here we are. So if you have an all AMD system like I have back here, and I'll discuss that here. Well, let's just discuss it now. So it's an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 CPU, the Sapphire Pulse RX 5700 XT, has a MSI uh, Timeoff B450 motherboard, has 16 gigabytes of uh, T-Force Delta R RGB RAM, uh, running 30, 16 gigabytes running at 3200 megahertz, uh, 750 watt EVGA power supply, blah, 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 blah. I built this custom machine specifically for video recording, streaming, gaming, all that kind of stuff. Of course, I built it without really knowing what all the, uh, not proper, but you know, the best solutions for a system would be. Uh, it's a great gamer, but when you add streaming on top of that, gaming and streaming from a single PC, your uh, requirements are a little bit different. I should have went with a little bit faster CPU to make things a little bit smoother. But this video is for anyone using similar hardware to this, allow you to get a really good stream, lag free, crystal clear, uh, and the least amount of headache. And I scoured the internet looking for specific settings for a setup like this and could not find it. So I thought, let me make this video. Maybe it'll help someone else. And hopefully it does. If it does, chuck a like on it, subscribe. I'll have more videos like this coming out uh, to help people stream and some, you know, game clips, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, but we help to use it because words and stuff are difficult. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump into these settings. So Streamlabs OBS, it's basically the same settings if you're using OBS, doesn't make a difference, uh, but I'm using Streamlabs OBS. So let's just go through here because there are some specific things you want to make sure you have set. Uh, here in the general tab, uh, you're just going to go here to disable hardware acceleration. You want to make sure that you disable hardware acceleration and you have to restart the software to do that um the other thing oh hang on you know what let's back up a second when you launch the software you have to let me go down here and my my face cam's in the way yeah oh wait maybe not yep so uh, you right click it and run as administrator you can see it here right next to my face cam run as administrator you have to make sure that you run the software as administrator uh, every time you open it, make sure you run it as administrator. Uh, so then general, disable hardware acceleration, check that, restart the software, make sure you run as administrator, come back in, and then go to stream. And because I'm streaming the Mixer, Mixer offers two different versions, FTL, which is faster than light, it's their low latency, no latency. Uh, so you can actually re almost real time interact with chat, which is super nice. Uh, unfortunately, if you're using Comcast internet like I am, and this is apparently a widespread issue. Uh, FTL just won't work as well. Now you could, I've saw some things where people called Comcast and complain and they kind of got it working, but if you just want to get to it, switch it to mmixer.com RTMP, and then make sure you select the server that's closest to you physically. Like if you had to drive to that city or location, make sure you choose the one closest to you instead of letting it auto default. And then hit uh, oh and then we're going to go down to output and under the streaming tab you want encoder to be x264 because we're going to use the cpu to do the encoding even though like with my 5700 xt i have plenty of gpu headroom to do the encoding apparently the amd encoder is still not quite there which is why a lot of streamers use nvidia graphics cards to take uh, full advantage of the nvec encoder that's built in um, and if you have an NVIDIA card, you're not watching this video anyway, probably. But if you are, good job on making the right decision. Uh, hopefully AMD will, um, you know, obviously over time they'll make that better and hopefully the encoder will become better, but at the moment it's not. So you wanna choose software X264 and you do want to rescale the output. And I have a 10, 1920 by 1080 display, my main gaming display and I'm capturing the whole desktop just like I am in this video. And you wanna rescale that down to 1280 by 720 because it is less data for the software to um, encode 
and it's also easier to push out you know to the ingest server uh, for your stream so and it looks just it looks great on a on a phone tablet even a desktop i mean i doubt most people are going you know full screen with the stream they're watching it in a window uh, and even if they are casting it to like i have a 70 inch 4k television 720 phd looks fine on there um so you definitely want to downscale it 1280 by 720 uh, use constant cbr constant bit rate for rate control and then set it to about 3000 uh if you can if you had now i have gigabit down and 40 megabit upstream or you know upload speeds and 3000 is kind of my cap and i think that's my sweet spot between the hardware i have the settings i have and my upload speeds um so you might need to play with that i would not go below 2500 when you go below 2500 it, it just starts looking not good there's just not enough data there to make the stream look good plus mixer is going to be compressing the uh, stream even further and you know re-encoding it and everything so you want to make sure you have enough da uh, data there so that you don't lose too much detail so 3000 2500 minimum but you can play with that you might have a little more headroom or less keyframe interval we're going to keep that at zero or auto cpu usage so now because we're using the cpu to do the encoding this, this is kind of a very fine balancing point. Uh, I have mine set to very fast, and the, the faster you go, it, the less CPU load there is. So if you're playing a game that's not very CPU intensive, you may be able to go lower in the preset to put more load on the CPU to get a better quality stream. Uh, or if you're using running a game that has a higher CPU demand, you may have to increase the preset to higher, reduce the load, the software is putting on the CPU. So there's a balance there. Uh, very fast for me has been a very good middle ground for the games I'm playing. Uh, the other thing is the faster you go, the it reduces the quality as well. And the slower you go, the better the quality. And very fast, it seems like a, a pretty good middle ground there, like I said, overall. Profile, keep the main. And that's about the tune and X264 options. We don't need to worry about those. Uh, in the audio tab, just set this to 48 kilohertz, that's fine. Or don't touch, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's gonna sound very similar either way you put it. For the video, again, my base canvas, my screen is 1920 by 1080. You wanna make whatever your screen is, you make that output scale. You're gonna scale it down from whatever it was to 1280 by 720. The filter, I've tried all of them. The uh, bicubic 16 sample seems to work the best. For me and this you know this setup and maybe it would be for you probably a good starting point fps type we're going to keep this to common fps values and uh the common fps values is 60 so it's we're going to do 60 frames per second if you go below 60 frames per second then when someone is watching it like on a big tv or something like that or you're playing like a fast paced you know, like shooter game or a, a, a racing game or something like that where the 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 canvas of the game is changing rapidly if you go below 60 it's not going to look very good it's kind of look a little pixelated and, and jagged and rough looking so you want 60 frames per second now, obviously if you're having any issues you can drop that down uh to try to make the stream uh more stable but shoot for 60 if possible and then under advanced this one is very key here so process priority you want to make sure that this is set to high what this does is basically tells the scheduler on windows that we want streamlabs obs or obs to be high priority so devote most of your cpu to that and then whatever's left you know other processes get so the game would get and you know whatever softwares and everything else you have going on that way it will make the software or the stream just again words i keep stumbling over myself but anyway uh it will make the uh, software, the Streamlabs OBS software, the highest priority. So it will have the best chance of getting that stream out as cleanly as possible. Uh, under video, we don't need to worry about that. Audio, nothing there. Recording, no. Replay buffer, no. Uh, no, no. Okay, so now under network, under advance, this is another very key setting that you need to make sure is checked. And this is, again, especially if you have, like, maybe you don't have a fast internet or you're just really having trouble with it looking pixelated or laggy or you're dropping frames. Check this box that says dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames while streaming. 
So what this does is if you have that bitrate set at 3000 and for whatever reason there's network traffic or your CPU's, you know, getting bound up or something and the software detects it's dropping frames, then it's going to automatically reduce that bitrate down to try to keep from dropping too many frames and, and keep that stream looking nice and crisp for you. So make sure you check that box there. And uh, that's it. That's all that's all there. That's all the settings. All the most important things. I mean other things, you know, you can just kind of play around with and everything. But uh, anyway, hopefully this video has helped you or someone else out there. If you're having if you use an all AMD machine, this is the settings I would tell you to go with. Now obviously if you have a much faster CPU like a Ryzen uh, you know an eight core uh, 16 thread like a 20, 1700x or 2700x 2700x or even the newer um, probably even the newer six cores might be able to uh, stream a, you know, a little bit better but it's definitely an eight core Ryzen machine uh, you probably won't have these issues but if you're streaming with a six core or even less these are definitely the settings you want to try especially if you have an AMD graphics card if you have an again if you have an NVIDIA card a video card Use the NVENC encoder and forget everything I just said in this video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out. If you liked it, chuck a big old thumbs like, uh, thumbs like, throw a thumbs like on it. Uh, again, Lord Nikon, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Mixer. I'm there every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sundays, 2 p.m. till yeah, whenever I feel like going. And uh, anyway, you guys stay cool.